Okay, so this is what I'm dealing with. Am I up for it? I hope so. Here we are. I had to pull stuff out to go through stuff. So my goal now is to clean up, put stuff in, recycle, and the stuff I'm going to give away, get it packed up so I know where it is and get things just generally put away again. You guys, it is 8 o'clock. I can feel no air conditioning right now. I am so hot. I've been in my garage. I went out at 6. So I had two hours more. You know, I'm just tossing stuff. Some stuff is harder. But I'm going to set boundaries at the end. And um, I don't even have room in my car to put more books in to take to work. So I think tomorrow I won't do any more of the books. Or I've got to... Well, I have a lot of bags, y'all. So I can fill up the bags and then grab a bag. And i got all kinds of stuff for Beverly in my trunk. Hopefully I can get her to come out one day and get all that stuff. Just to keep stuff moving. And I did a little clip of my garage, but I couldn't find the tripod, y'all. A pair of glasses fell off my head. Don't know. No idea where they went. Now I gotta keep a pair in there. So I really couldn't read the books anymore, but I straightened up and just threw stuff out. Threw a lot of stuff. There's a lot more to throw out, you know? Um, it's about limits, right? It's about, okay, this container can ha fit this much, right? There you are. And, um, yeah, right now it's just letting stuff go. It's no organizing other than like maybe throwing everything in a, you know, like this is too much. I can't even like, this was really trying not to be cranky about glasses on and off and on and off. And, oh, anyway, I'm having a ice cold Waterloo. Let me tell that your girl, Clara. See you right there. Say hi, Claire. She's madder than a habit. Madder than a hatter. Because she's got to take medicine with her food. The tracing and care. Well, and she loves, that's something she loves. I just put all the food up. I'm like, you guys, I pay a lot of money. And if we don't give you all this medicine, you know, you're going to, it's going to happen again. I will say this. She has not peed in her normal places today. I'm going to have to go downstairs and check and see if she did it in that box. And I don't believe she's pooped. I don't know. So I'm giving her limited food. I don't know if I could put a tiny bit of psyllium husk in it, y'all. I don't know. So the goal is, if I can move. I got my corn on the coffee, y'all. This stuff is so good. I'm gonna go get some tomorrow. And you know what? Dinner, corn on cob. Perfect. Ugh. I have a watermelon. Got about in the car, luckily. Nothing, no harm, no foul. Got it in. And right now my house looks destroyed. It's just, yeah. It's just, I don't know. I got to find somebody can can come and work a little bit for me, with me. To help me run things in down and out. And, um, you know, so what I'm going to do, I have to have a place clear in the garage for the air conditioning and stuff to come in and out. And I have that. But, you know, I'm not going to show you, but I gave puzzles away. I still have many puzzles. And my friend Heather, I've got I've been collecting stuff for her. She has a lake house in Michigan. So, but she can totally not reject anything because you know, I get carried away that I've been trying to reel that in. But what I'm gonna do is right now, right, Clara, Clara, go eat. Y'all I have some kind of naughty books, but I'm giving them to the vets. I'm not gonna bring the work. <laughs> Maybe I drop one in and see if anyone notices. It was a phase, y'all. I'm way past this phase erotica literature let's just say that <laughs> fortunately unfortunately i'm past that phase but yeah i just the more i do this the more i want to give away and let go of and you know and as i'm letting stuff go and i'm thinking well you know you could have done this i thought you know what we have things we want to do and you're not doing them because you're managing this so like it's like with the cheeses you know if you go into giant to cheat or whatever your local you know grocery safeway whatever and you Look at the thousands of cheeses. It hurts my head. Other than maybe you need you need um, cheddar as opposed to mozzarella as opposed to Monterey Jack. I don't know what to tell you, but it's too much. 
So now I have a Trader Joe's, my favorite cheeses, and that's what I buy. I don't care what's on sale. I don't care if there's a brand new cheese. I'm not looking at it. I'm not investigating it. So it's kind of what I have to do here. I just have to let possibilities go. And um, there's still tons of stuff I want to do, tons of art. And my art has changed so much with creativity. You guys, and I got to get that garage. I, it just has to, it has to be cleared out. And, you know, my recycle, huge recycle bin is literally almost filled up. Um, but I have some of these open things that I, you know, I can't really send anything in. I will drag those out filled too. I am, I'm just determined. A lot of stuff y'all given to the vets, given to work, but some stuff is just yucky and it wasn't great in the first place. That's why I got it because it's kind of damaged. Um, yeah, but there, I don't think there's any mice back. Thank you, God. Really. And I have some, uh, um, I have all these sticky traps and nobody's gone in it. I have, I think what I did is I saw two things. One, it looked like mouse pee. I think it was a chemical. The second one, the ma where I saw mouse poop, I'm pretty sure that was where I didn't get to last time. So I'm wearing my mask, my gloves, and just, you know, I've learned you sweep it and then you just infect it. I got my microvan everywhere. I don't have Clorox spray, which I, I might run by Lowe's tomorrow to get some mulch and Clorox spray. It's probably super expensive there. I should run in Walmart, but I'd rather die. Really, then go to Walmart on a Sunday. Yeah. So I'm using whatever I have. I have Clorox wipes and it's just a thing, but it's almost like I want 24 hours and I want to dismantle everything I've collected and I can't do that. But I really need to, I don't know who or how, but um, it would help to have someone to help me carry stuff. I don't know, I have to think about that. And uh, yeah. Right now, oh my gosh, y'all. But the goal is finish this up. I'm gonna go get in the shower. Oh, and then I'm going to um just pick up some stuff in my room. Just start, y'all. I did some clothes today. I still have many, many more to do. Like I said, I think I might do a month of graphic teeth and see if I like them or not. And let some go. Because, you know, some aren't going to fit right. Or I don't like the color. Or, or that kind of thing. And, um, yeah. Oh, I just need help. I, do, I need help. In many levels. In many ways. But I don't think I'm going to get it. So I'm going to have to figure this out. And, um, yeah. I just do what I can. I don't want to hurt myself. I really don't. And as much as I feel like I'd like to disappear off the planet, I don't want to hurt myself. So, um, yeah. But I'm getting here. And um, my that garage, I really, it's going to be hot soon. And so tomorrow I really do want to get this stuff done out front. So my goal is to get up at 530. I'm going to go to bed early. I need to leave my house by like quarter to eight. What am I think? I have to be there at nine, quarter after eight. So I need to be in the shower at seven. So if I get about 5.30, it gives me an hour and a half of getting gardening stuff done. Then I don't have to worry about it when it's warmer when I get home. And then I just want to go in the garage and organize just a little bit and mark things and pack up the stuff that's for the vets and get it taped and all that kind of stuff. And, um... Get the books I'm ready to let go of right now in bags. So I can just take them maybe one or two a day to work. And the vets are coming Tuesday. So I got to try to see if I can get them to come to the front and the back, right? I don't have as much, but tomorrow I'm going to spend time downstairs. And um, I have to start being ruthless with art supplies. I mean, not paints and stuff like that, but yeah, I don't know. just stuff I've collected. I just have to let stuff go. And um, even stuff I really don't want to let go, I have to let go. And just, you know, it's almost like a morning thing. Like, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. It's weird. It's just stuff. But there's an energy attached to it. And, um, you know, it's letting go of a way of life, I hope. I hope I'm not ever going to overconsume like this again. I hope. On some levels, it's the way I survive my family and... You know, uh, but I don't want to do that anymore, right? I just want to do the hard work and move forward.
So I guess maybe this will cure me. I don't know. Meanwhile, I got this cat won't poop. These are bigger problems to worry about. I'm like, well, it'll be healthy. And she's mad at me now. I can't help it. Y'all, could you tell her she needs her medicine? So I'm just overly tired. One night I cried all the way home. I was from work. I was so tired. And holding it together, acting like a normal person sometimes is very, very challenging. And I don't want to bleed all over work, if that makes sense. I really don't. But the fear is overwhelming. It's just really overwhelming. But the only way is through, right? When you're going through hell, keep on going. So, right, Clara? Clara, right? Go eat your food, sis. I think if I go upstairs, she'll eat. But, um, yeah. It's a lot. I'm just tired, physically tired. That's a good way to end the day. Nice cold shower, new jammies. Yes, ma'am, I have a new jammies tonight. And then um, we'll see about tomorrow, but that's my goal. I just really want, I, you know what? If I can get the, it's all these, all these branches I have to cut down, if I can get that done and bagged, then it's off my list. I do like have half a bag of mulch. Which all, I don't know that I can actually carry it. It's super heavy and I don't want to be really stupid. You know what I'm saying? So I might skip Lowe's tomorrow and then figure out how to get that mulch out there and then see what I need after that. I think that's probably, or use this mulch on the side of my house. That might be better, but I, I guess I can put it in, I, if I can get it in an Ikea bag and drag it, probably be the best, I think. And then I really want to do good sweeping and get that stuff bagged up and got trash going and keep things moving. It's a lot. It's a lot, y'all. But if what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And if it kills you, then you're not here to deal with your stuff. Right? Anyway. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to eat my corn. It's a little less hot now. Yum, yum. And I will be going to get me some more corn tomorrow. It's been so good. It's been agreeing with me. Sometimes corn doesn't agree, but it's been agreeing with me. But I don't have one. I don't eat it every day. I'm not being obsessional. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be nice in July. Having some yummy homemade, homemade, homegrown tomato slice, you guys. A little something on it. Woo, that's going to be a good meal. I'll have to think about protein with it too. But, all right, you guys, you take care. And um, I appreciate your comments. If you're new, let me know where you're from. Even if you've commented before and I haven't responded, just let me know. I'd, I'd love to know where everyone's from. I think it's kind of cool. Um, got my friends in Canada and all over the country. And But, yeah, but I think once I get home tomorrow, if I can get that yard crap done, then I am going to have to give myself some time off tomorrow because, you know, work is Monday. I have to have, but... You know, I want to kind of do laundry, I think, and go hang out downstairs and, you know, pack up some stuff and work a little bit in my library. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do, too, is in my studio, I'm moving everything out of the way for them. So when they, if they come, like, one night next week and I'm not here, they they don't have to move a thing. Ah, oh, man, why couldn't that air condition just last another year? But it didn't. So, you guys. Anyway, I'm just... Yeah. All right. You guys take care and I will talk to you tomorrow. I promise.